she loved her hair when she was young, so we made this picture about her. And each time I tried to to make a relation between what she said and the picture. So you will see each room is very, very look like and a little bit fake because it's in hospital. Uh, this woman was uh, very, very poetic. So I don't know if the translation is okay. She told me she's like, she always been like a rose without a date. Maybe she wanted to tell me she's very free. Well, this woman was uh, as Alzheimer, so she was forgetting every memories. So don't hesitate to to talk with me, to tell me what you think, to tell me if it's good, if it's not good. Okay, I don't want to talk at all. <laughs> Our picture man was funny because it was our birthday, the day we made the picture. Each birthday since uh, 80 years, it was sunny for her. Uh, this woman is in uh, our house. Marcel, very difficult to say in Chinese, I think. Marcel. show you some street portraits about Taiwan. Um, I don't have enough pictures like this to show you now because I have a lot, lot of pictures but I didn't edit it because I don't have the time. <laughs> so I just have maybe 10 portraits like this. Um, it's in Taipei. I always try to make uh, my pictures in streets like a, like a theater, you know. I want to put one character in, uh, in a scene. So it's in Yellow. Uh, it's a very strange place, I think, because um, it's very beautiful, very natural, but very fake at the same time because very touristy. Uh, I saw a big red line in the middle of the stones. I was very sad to see. And I think it's very funny because people look like they are lost in the moon. This one was in Bancho, and many, many people in France love this picture because maybe it's the idea of Asia, they are uh, very exotic, maybe, I don't know, because the woman is very classic, and uh, with the hat, I think it's a kind of Asian fashion of French people think. I don't know if it's true. You know, we have some cliché like this, 
maybe you think French people are very romantic and things like that. It's very false. <laughs> <laughs> so I always put one people in in a strange place like this. I think this man was doing some tai chi, something like that. Uh, because I love cinema, so many of my pictures are inspired by cinema and science fiction. <laughs> yeah, we can make very good pictures with tai chi because uh, it's very cinematographic too. show you some landscapes. Uh, it's the same. I have many, many landscapes in my laptop, but it's not edited, so I just should, uh, show you the one I edited. So maybe you will find the places where I took it, but it's very difficult because you have so many mountains. <laughs> <laughs> so this one was in Alishan Mountain. Yeah, Ali Mountain. Uh, everybody went to Ali Mountain or not? Yeah, stupid question. <laughs> the sunset is very wonderful there. Maybe the most beautiful I see in my life. Oh, my laptop is dying. So I was in Alishan Mountain too, with the Sea of Clouds. Uh, this one is in um, Bulai. Yeah. Uh, it's a place I love because uh, you have so many hot springs in Taiwan, and I think everybody will go to Beito or things like that, but I don't like it because Beito is a little bit fake. Uh, it's very touristy too, but Hula is very, very natural and it's free. <laughs> and you are just with Taiwanese people and it's very beautiful. So, more simple, I think. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's so much better. So, I can show you this one again. Because <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> So it's in Hulai too, yeah. And um, I encourage people to go to Hulai because I I went very far in Hulai and everything is destroyed because of the typhoon. So I think they really need to uh, many many tourists now maybe because it's a very beautiful place. Uh, it's in Yeliu if you go very very high. And uh, I like this picture because. It's like a story, you know. She is she is reflecting the light of the moon and with her smartphone, and I think trying to take the moon in picture with a smartphone is a little bit uh, difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the end, YouTube. This one too. Do you remember there were, uh, when I was in the news? There was a full moon, a red full moon. Do you remember the yes. Yeah, it was this time, but we cannot see it in red. This one is in Ilan. I love this place too because there are so many, many beautiful places in Ilan. Uh, Ilan too. So I have a few pictures in black and white. Uh, I prefer to work in color, but when I work with animals, I love dogs. Um, I think it's Turtle Island. Yeah. Uh, it's Ilan by night. Uh, this one is Jofen. Yeah. Jofen. Sorry for my pronunciation. <laughs> uh, I think you know this one. <laughs> it's your Eiffel Tower. So it was in Elfant Mountain. Uh, Ali Mountain again, and Ali Mountain. <laughs> oh, so, 
Yes, uh, I have many, many pictures to show you, different pictures. Uh, I'm also a wedding photographer in France, and I wanted to show, this, to show you this picture because I tried to make one wedding in Taiwan. Because I saw many different kinds of pictures, I think it's different. Uh, I always try to make natural pictures of weddings. I don't know if it's the same here. Not really. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the wedding pictures I saw are very, very like fake. Uh, too beautiful, uh, too much Photoshop maybe, <laughs> plastic skin. So I don't really like it, but I wanted to to try one here. So it was in Chie. My pronunciation is okay. Chie, no. Chie, Chie, Chie. Close to Elisha Monte. Oh, thank you. Chai. No, I try my best. <laughs> so, I always keep some funny pictures for the bride. <laughs> yeah, they are my assistant too. Yo. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Brian. So I just wanted to show you these pictures because I think it's really different when we change our country. So. Well, that's what we did. Now we can begin with the animal. So what's the name of, the, of this girl? Um, Wildlife right students, please. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, it's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know the names of the girl, I'm not a professional. So I went with a uh, white student in uh, close to Thailand to take picture, pictures of the birds. I can't see you in the dark, but maybe they are here. Maybe not. So I just know their French name. Right? I love this one because I think they are very elegant when they are flying. Situation. 
because as you can see in the PTRC, we have many, many, many macacas, maybe too much. Um, oh, it's not an animal. Uh, because uh, maybe they are taken by traps or shot because I think the farmers uh, are annoyed by them because they come to the, the field. But people feed them, so it's very difficult. And I think the government won't do anything for it. So in Thailand, it's the same problem. They are not very, very wide because many, many people come every day to feed them. I think it's very sad to see because sometimes they are fat, lazy, and, yeah, and I think it's very unhealthy. So I like to make beautiful portraits of them, and I like to make pictures of animals in their environment, and sometimes sad pictures, details, because the situation is better. Yeah, it's a rebel. Uh, don't be eaten by a <laughs> we can put an advertisement, don't feed them. <laughs> Acrobat. I like this one, it looks like a poet. In the world, I think. Like a king. <laughs> uh, this one has a uh, disease in the eyes, I don't know. So I love my guys because every monkey is and many other animals, but I think especially monkeys you can see their soul in their eyes. Especially the old ones. They really have unique expressions just like humans. This one was injured. I don't know why. There are so many things in this picture. It's like a, a movie. Because the poor woman is living with a baby. <laughs> and this bastard is running. And you can see the fear in the baby eyes. Such a story behind this picture. <laughs> I think his eyes is very beautiful. I don't know if it's normal. Uh, there is a black stain in the eye. Okay, enough magicals. So cute. Uh, I can show you some French wildlife, but everything is in my art drive in France, so I have a <laughs> few French wildlife. So it's a woodpecker. I think you have the same here. A baby deer, because the deer is a is the biggest animal of our forest in Europe. Right? His ear was uh, eaten. So it's very difficult to take them in picture because they are very, very, very shy because we have many, many, many hunters, and I don't like them. So you have to be very close and to wait very long. So I don't know their names in English, just in French, so it's a show way. It's a trop petit mignon in French. 
So it's very technical, so I can say anything that's a king of you. Okay. <laughs> and after the seagull is released, hello, the end. So maybe I can show you the PTRC pictures now because we don't have so much time. Oh, yes, I have. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's a trick about the collab here. Yeah. So if I make mistake, you can correct me, okay? So we may show. Uh, I I was not here since a long time, and uh, Meishu took me to go uh, to the jungle to make a trek to, to take a, a collar, you know, from a bear with uh, the data, because he lost the collar. So we had an uh, Aboriginal guide and a professional writer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, I was so I like this picture because it looks like stones among the stone. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but I'm French. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tourist. <laughs> so it's a bare nest, 
because I think everybody knows that the, the Taiwan bear is the only one maybe in the world to make nests nest like this, I think. Yeah. So I'm trying to find some fur in the nest. And measuring the nest is important because you can know maybe the size of the bear. And uh, we saw many, many close marks in the trees. And what is interesting is that we can understand it was a mother with two cats, according to the marks. So the work of researcher is measuring the marks and making pictures of the marks and of everything. She was looking at that. Yeah. And finally, we found the color very, very quickly. I think we were very lucky this day. Yeah. Right. So everybody was very happy with it. <laughs> Great duck. Uh, she was student and with our guy. And all the students, I think you know that. I don't know what is written. I hope it's right. <laughs> okay. It was very difficult for me. It was one of my first tracks like this. But I'm still alive. Yep. So now I will show you the pictures of the PCRC, the rescue center. Um, so here, the most difficult for me was to erase the, the cages, the grays of my pictures, and sometimes to show it like this, um, because uh, I had to be very close to erase the grays, but I had to be very careful, for sure. So in this one, what I like is we can see the gray. Yes, it is a bit. <laughs> So it's a liger. Um, his story is very sad because one man uh, made it, you know, it's a genetical... Uh, um, it's a tiger with a lion. So he has, he has a bad DNA, so he's uh, like paralyzed in the back. And the two other cats died. Yeah, this picture is terrible because you can see it's very paralyzed. And... But it's very cute. <laughs> uh, he tried to kill me just after this picture. <laughs> I was very afraid. <laughs> I think he saw me like a snake. <laughs> um, what I tried is to make beautiful pictures of them beautiful portraits because they are beautiful and I wanted to respect that. And some sad pictures because their situation is very sad. In a perfect world, the rescue center wouldn't be for sure. But everyone is the rescue center do his best for them. And it's still sad to see wild animals like this. So. Thanks. So the birds. Um, you have to be like this too much. Oh, it's Taiwan. The most famous in Taiwan, I think, is very aggressive. Um, this one is uh, is not in a cage because he cannot fly. This one too. Yes, it looks a little bit stupid like this, but it's not. Here it's just. Oh, this one is the most famous here. I think he's a friend of everybody. What, what's his name? Xiaopa. Okay. I cannot tell it. Okay. He's so cute. Uh, he's 
there is. Uh, this bear is called Salmon because he loves Salmon. <laughs> um, it comes from a circus, if I remember well. I'm not sure. Yeah. So it's very, very beautiful um, and very sad at the same time. I always try to catch uh, their facial expressions and uh, their eyes because I think it's the most important to, 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 to make sure people the condition of animals. This one just attacked me. It's a regular set. That's my head in the tree. In the strategy. Oh, so I just have it. Because I made a selection because I have maybe maybe two thousand pictures of the six hundred. So. The Mali and Paris. He looks very huge in this picture. But he's not. He's very cute. Um, I think these bears are very sad too. Because they need a very, very big space. Oh, these two are the, be are the best enemies. <laughs> Always arguing. And it's very difficult to take pictures of them because they're always coming when they see you. So as you can see, I tried my best to erase the drains. <laughs> very, very difficult. <laughs> and I tried for many animals to have the, the ant. And some parts of them. Uh, so in the rescue center, there is a small crocodile. Oh, it's other animals. <laughs> it's a folder a little bit messy. Ooh, represent. The one Jack, very difficult to take pictures of him because always running. Because <laughs> they are so cute. Very difficult to take a picture of him too because always hiding. This tiger is very sad too because he was rescued by, from a circus. Um, he was in a tiny cage and always had to stand in his back legs, so he's paralyzed too. Um, now you have a, a low in Taiwan, you are lucky, you have a low for me in the circus. 
uh, in my country, in France, we don't have this law, so we still have circles with wild animals. I think it's terrible and we are terribly late about it. So when I'm back to France, I will try to have a project to make a petition and to send it to the government because it's terrible. So he's very lazy because he can't move so, so much and breathing very difficultly because of his paralyzed legs. Dance is different, even with the cotton. Uh, some gibbons. Uh, there are many, many gibbons in the rescue center too. It was maybe the most difficult for me to make pictures because they are very, very long arms and they can take. <laughs> so it is very, very difficult to understand. But this one, I think, is the, most, the cutest, even in, in the rescue center. It's very, very cute and calm and sad, I think. I love him. Uh, I don't know if you know the association, association Calaweight in Indonesia. Um, Channing is a French uh, man who came in Indonesia and created the biggest rescue center for gibbons in Malaysia. Uh, the name of the association is Calaweight, if you want to check it. Oh, I think that's all. Oh, and this one. I think he's a little bit. Oh, this one is an old man and uh, very, very evil <laughs> with me. I don't know why. I think he, he don't like Fakorian. <laughs> this one is very cute because when he stands like this, he just wants us to caress him in the back. But you have to be careful because sometimes you can make it. <laughs> mm, the macacas. So macacas are the, uh, the, the, the most really important animal, I think, in the rescue center. You have so many, many macacas here. So it's not an endangered species in Taiwan, but as I told you, it's a very difficult uh, situation because many are trapped. Uh, those ones are in tiny cages because the rescue center cannot put them in the cages. There are too many, many machines. I love this one because you can see the, the end. 
the cages and the lock. So I think it's the three things we tell a story. I think with my record I have nothing to say because you can feel it. This one was my best friend. This one is very old and he was blind, that's why he has a different eyes. He just came from the, I think he was um, tech by the frontier. Uh, I, I was with you, Kimo. Um, there, there are <laughs> many, many Macacas were in quarantine. Yeah. So many animals are taken by the frontier because of the traffic, you know. So those, these ones were in quarantine. Oh, he tried to make a selfie. <laughs> this one has just one hand. Okay. So sometimes I try to make pictures who, where the orangutan looks like human because maybe it's the only way for people who don't know the animal cause to identify them. Uh, And I will finish with the uh, Taiwan bear because I love him and his mother is here. <laughs> so, 
So, as you know, the Taiwan bear is an endangered species here, and uh, many people just don't know it, so you have to talk about it most possible. He's very cute, but it would be more cute in the wild, I think. <laughs> I like this one because you can see, I don't show the grace, but you can see the shadow of the grace on his face. Uh, she's the old one I mentioned. And here she looks like a black eye, maybe. So I think it's like the, from the orangutan the you can see many many emotions in their eyes. And they love to play. I think I finished. <laughs> so thank you. Um,